What is going on guys? It's Wednesday. Welcome. Now, today we're going to talk about um, one of the most important topics on Amazon FBA. And once you start your product and you start your listing and you're trying to sell, how can you get reviews when you make sales? How can you entice people to leave your reviews? Because um, we can do so many things, but if you don't put these marketing tactics in place, even though you sell your product, they may not leave a review for you because it's just people are busy. They don't like to go back to the something that they've already done. So you got to give them incentives. You got to give them um, motivations, so to speak, to leave your review. Now, um, I have friends who've asked me um, many times how to do this stuff because um, they, when they, uh, even though they implement some of the things that I talk about, they don't implement it correctly. They don't have the right tools, or um, uh, they don't do, they don't follow the steps that I tell them. So, I wanted to make this video, and because I want to encourage you guys to absolutely follow these steps properly, because otherwise it's not gonna work for you. So, with that being said, what are my top three tactics that I use when I'm selling and I want to get reviews? Now, the first thing you can do is join Amazon review Facebook groups, right? So that is a little bit sketchy and you've probably heard about it. I mean, you're trying to connect with all kinds of strangers and you're trying to make friends with them, but never ever when you join, right away ask for something. You always have to share something. You always have to share ideas, answer some questions, maybe for a couple days, trying to fill it out, see how people are, if they're negative, if they're positive, because you don't want negative people leaving your reviews or anything like that. So join these Facebook groups, share some stuff, and then send a direct message to some of the people you know. Now, make sure you say, hey, um, I'm, my name is Tam, and I'm selling this product. Um, if you guys are interested, I have a 70% or 90% coupon and uh, just direct message me. So try to do that. Try to build some kind of rapport there and then do all this stuff through direct messaging. So once they contact you um, and then um, you give them the coupon and then once you, uh, they buy your product, send them another message, hey, can you leave a review for me um, and this and that. So that's one way to do it. It's a little bit sketchy because of the kind of people that I've encountered on, in these groups. Um, they are always there to hunt for information. They are always there for their own selfish reasons and they try not to do as much for others as possible. So you don't want to come across that. You want to make sure you're also giving um, and you're asking for something. So that's my least favorite way, but nonetheless, it's a way to get reviews. The second way to get reviews is to actually go through your Facebook friends, people who you trust, right? Now you gotta make sure that these guys don't have the same name. You gotta make sure that they don't live in the same city because Amazon's algorithm is very, very sneaky. I mean, you guys know that Google, Facebook, Amazon, everything is connected. When you're searching for a product, right? All of a sudden you see advertising everywhere, right? Uh, about that product. So that's why you gotta be very careful. You gotta make sure that you're not friends. I mean, you are on Facebook friends. So what you gotta do is have trustworthy people, ask them to buy your product and if they can leave a review and um, you can refund them. You can refund them directly um, um, outside of Amazon and all that. So, um, or you can provide them coupons, right? But make sure that these guys are your friends uh, and before, you, uh, before they actually buy your product or review, make sure you unfriend them on Facebook because you don't want the algorithm to pick up on these things because it's very, very complicated algorithm and it could, it could potentially um, flag your listing that you're trying to do these things. So it's a great way, but you've got to make sure you trust these people and you can unfriend them and then go back and friend them again. Very important. So you want to make sure that um, you've covered all your bases uh, before you do this. The third and absolute best way that I think um, you guys should always implement in your Amazon business and businesses implement this in their own uh, marketing tactics or in marketing strategies as it is, um, is to um, use an email autoresponder. So when you're selling on Amazon, uh, there are tools that you can use like JumpSend and uh, ZonMaster. Uh, JumpSend is the one that I use. So what you can do is set up automatic emails. So when somebody buys your product, the system automatically generates an email and sends it to them. You have to time this perfectly. So when a product is purchased, 
the first email goes in, hey, thank you for purchasing our product. We really appreciate your business. Um, hope you enjoy it and uh, your product is on its way and it'll be there shortly. So basically a confirmation email, that's what it is for sales, right? So that's the first email. And then once the product gets there, you gotta set up another email that says, hey, um, maybe like about 12 to 24 hours after, I hope you're enjoying the product. Um, uh, we really wanted to make sure that you're happy with it. So if there is any question, please let us know and we'll be happy to answer. So in marketing, there actually in general it takes about nine touches for somebody to remember you. So we've already done the listing and they've already seen our product and they bought it. So a couple touches are done. But now we're doing three more touches, but which are direct touches, right? The third email, which you should do within three days of the product getting to their door. And this is where you ask for a review. You say, hey, my name is Tam. Um, we are a family-based business. Uh, we really appreciate your feedback on our product. We're trying to expand our line. Um, this is our livelihood. So uh, we'd really appreciate if you could leave us an honest review, um, see what you liked, what you didn't like, and um, yeah, to improve our product. Um, and uh, that's it. So basically you thank them for their time and to entice them a little bit more, you can say, um, uh, once we receive your review, we'll send you a coupon for like 10% off on our next product. If you have a few product lines that you're selling. So not only you're trying to get a review, but you're also trying to upsell or sell your other products. So this is my absolute favorite way to get reviews. Um, it's a more honest approach. It's a more business oriented approach and every marketing strategy involves this. So yeah, I mean, um, these are three ways that you can get reviews, but make sure, please, 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 the last, uh, the last one that I mentioned that you always implemented in your Amazon business because it's, it's, it's marketing 101, so to speak. So that's it. I hope you guys learned something valuable today. I think it's going to really help you guys catapult your business to the next level. And um, yeah, okay, on Friday's video, um, I'm going to mention something more personal about myself because I want you guys to get to know me a bit better better so tune in on friday at 2 p.m and uh, we'll have another heart to heart conversation thank you so much guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe below if you already have i really appreciate it and i really appreciate your viewership and i'm looking forward to hearing about you in the comment section let me know how i'm doing let me know if i'm solving your problems let me know if there is anything else you would like me to do a video on and like i said before that's the way i want to take this channel is i want to help people as much as possible with their issues that they're having on amazon thanks again guys and have a wonderful day and i'm going to see you guys on friday bye